It's a September tradition in Ohio, and like most sporting events, it begins with a flyover. But the sport is not football. Take your places, get set, go! It's the 16th annual Air Force Marathon at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. This is an amazing event that has grown incredibly over the last 16 years from, you know, 1,700 runners in 1997 to over 15,000 runners this year. And the only way that we could do that is with so many great sponsors and with such great community partnerships here in the Miami Valley. 15,000 runners, the most ever, ran in this year's race. The marathon course starts at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. <laughs> It takes runners through the base, into downtown Fairborn, and back to the museum where runners finish next to static aircraft and are greeted by an enthusiastic crowd. I think the atmosphere is definitely the best motivation. It's one of the best races I've done. It was great. Lots of scenery, lots of great music. It was, it was a blast. Water! And making sure all of the runners have a blast are the more than 2,000 volunteers that make the Air Force Marathon possible. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, just watching everybody. It's just amazing. Turn everybody on. Support Water! Make some noise! The marathon's male winner was Captain Brian Dunn with a time of two hours, 28 minutes, and 58 seconds. The female winner was Heidi Hamilton with a time of three hours, one minute, and nine seconds. Air Force Women's Marathon Champion! Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Matthew Klaus.